I've started off the new year with my highest dividend paying month yet. I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're gonna to be going over which stocks pay me out this month to make me have the best month I've ever had so far to kick off the 2020 new year. Let's get into it. Welcome back. So I got paid a total of $69.11 this month, starting off the new year great. The year of 2020 is being awesome to me so far. I'm going to dig in and show you some charts and show you which stocks exactly pay me out this month to where I have the best month yet this year. I'm really starting to see the snowball effect kick in. But enough talking, let's get into the charts. So what we have here is the charts that I use to track my monthly dividends. And before I get into my Robinhood account and show you which dividends I paid out, I'm gonna show you my charts. So on January 2020, I got paid a monthly dividend of $69.11 from a couple of the stocks that I own. My portfolio value at the time was $15,406.42. Had a MOM growth rate of 20% and my average monthly income is $44.60. So we take a look at a couple of these charts. The line represents what I was actually paid. And then the blue is the projections of my average monthly income. So as you can tell, every three months I have a dividend that I own pays out a significant amount of money. So there's a spike here, a spike here, and obviously there's a spike here for January 2020, $69.11. So you could expect another spike along this curve um, in three months from now, two months from now. So the blue bars is a projection of what I'm projected to earn somewhere in the future on average, but it is it does not show an exponential curve. It's just a, a bar graph projecting out my average monthly income. So it, it is not a projection of my exponential earnings that I could make towards the end of the year. But it's amazing that towards the end of this year, December 2020, that I would be averaging $93.30 every single month from my dividend account if I stay on this pace. If we scoot over one, this shows my actual monthly income. So July 2019, $33.43. Then back down, 6, 10, 48, 21. 33 and 69. This shows my portfolio value. So I'm up a little bit over $15,000. And then this shows my average yearly income from my dividends alone. Right now, uh, January. So if I keep receiving these dividends, I'll make a total of $535.26 at the end of this year based off my average. But these are just charts that I use to track my dividends accounts. Let's get into my Robinhood account so we can see which stocks exactly pay me out this month to see if you guys want to get them yourself. So let's get into that. Hey YouTube, I'm inside of my Robinhood account. Today I had an amazing day up 3.74%, putting me up around $567.38, bringing my account to $15,658.25. So to check on which dividends I got paid, all you do is click on your profile at the bottom right, and then you click on statement in history, show more, and scroll over and click on dividends. So if we scroll to the beginning of January, my first dividend payment was AGNC. I got paid a total of $11.20. At the time, I owned a total of 70 shares, paying me 16 cents per share. That's AGNC, uh, a monthly paying dividend stock. So I get paid from this company every single month. If we take a look at AGNC now, I now own a total of 80 shares. The next one I own is O, Realty Income. Um, I own a total of five shares, getting paid a total of $1.14 for an average of $0.22 cents per share that I own. Uh, 
So if we take a look at O, now I have a total of seven shares. So I keep reinvesting all of my dividends back into my dividend um, portfolio so I can continue to grow my account so that the charts that I sold you earlier, that those char charts would stay true and I can stay along that pathway. The next one I have is IIPR, Innovative Industry Properties. Uh, I own one, which pay me a total amount of $1 per share. If we take a look at that, I still own one and I'm up 25% on this company, up $18.63. The next one that paid me out was in January 15. Um, so just the third one that I got paid on January 15, um, a total of 68 cents. CTRE, Caretress, REIT, I own this total of three, paying me a total of 68 cents for 22 cents per share. That's CTRE. The next one is Disney paying me a whopping $3.52. I own a total of four shares of Disney, um, paying me out $3.52, 88 cents per share. And if we take a look at Disney, I am up 3%, $17.45 from Disney. Amazing company. The next one I have is a monthly paying dividend stock, uh, SPHD. I own the total at the time of 39 shares, which paid me $6.07, 15 cents per share. If we look at SPHD, now I own a total of 40 shares and Today, I am down almost 0.1%, but I, I just received monthly dividends from SPHD, so I've made much more money than is showing right here because as you've seen, I got paid over $6 from SPHD, but it doesn't show up in Robinhood total return. And saving the best for last, the seventh one that I got paid in the month of January is NRZ paying me out a total of $45.50. At the time, I owned a total of 91 shares of NRZ, paying me out 50 cents per share. So a total amount of $45.50. If you take a look at NRZ, now I own 100 shares of NRZ. I'm up 4.91% uh, for a total of $78.65. And with the equity in this company, I have $1,680 um, invested into this company with a 10.74 portfolio diversity. So it, it does take up a large percentage of my portfolio, but it's still under 15%. I wanted to get under nine. So I'm going to buy more of different monthly paying dividend stocks just so I can see monthly payments that I can reinvest into the uh, different companies. So yeah, I got into NRZ kind of early, averaging cost of $16.01, kind of averaging up. I started around here and just kept on buying every single month of NRZ going up. So it kind of averaged up my cost of $16.01 with $1,680 of equity into the company. So yeah, guys, I use Robinhood to uh, trade and to grow my dividend portfolio. If you wanna sign up for Robinhood, the link will be down in the description. All you do is click it and sign up and you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. And just come back to the comment section and let me know what free stock that you received from me. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It helps this channel out a lot. And all you have to do is hit the thumbs up button and it's completely free it's free just help me out just a little bit and while you're down there hit the subscribe button because trust me i have some amazing content coming out later this month that you guys do not want to miss it's great information it is very entertaining so go ahead hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out hit the thumbs up button because it's free <laughs> and then just comment down in the comment section what free stock that you received from me but other than that I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace. Before you go, YouTube, if you haven't checked out my top five dividend kings to hold forever, click the card in the top right screen of your corner. If you were looking to grow a dividend account, you might want to start here with these dividend kings that's been increasing their payouts over the last 25 years. They're called dividend aristocrats. There's more about it in that video, so just click the card and it'll take you right to it.
they did have to pay out a very large sum in the billions. So Johnson & Johnson pretty much had a problem with one of their products and they had a file and someone had 